the bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot! This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night! Not so fast, darkness! What? <gasps> Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend, and I have some gadgets of my own! Take that! Ah! Not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam. Now, where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. I'm sorry, I should probably start my intro, but I'm literally speechless with nostalgia. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pajama Sam. No need to hide when it's dark outside. Possibly the first video game I ever played, and certainly one of my favorites, but it's been literal decades. Oh, you're doing Thriller! <laughs> Look at those little idle animations. Oh, you're getting impatient, huh? I'm sorry, it's just every little aspect of this image is like, I'll look at something and it'll trigger some like deep, deep resonance. And then I'll try to dart my eyes away and land on something else that does exactly the same thing. I have no idea how much time I spent playing this as a kid, but it's got to be in the hundreds of millions of hours. Now, the cool thing about these games is that uh, it's all point and click, so it really encouraged you to kind of study every frame. There were always all these details and stuff, and every time that mouse lit up, you knew you could click on it, and it would do a whole thing. So, let's look at you. And you. <laughs> There's a little uh, shrimp hiding up there, or are you supposed to be a red N? Or are you like the larval stage of Rufus? Uh, it's, it feels so weird to make a new reference with such an old game to me. And there's a reason I've decided to play this now. It's a reason I've decided to revisit this after so long. If my... If my count is correct, this should coincide with not only roughly 250,000 subscribers, but also the 1,000th public video. So it, it's just a real trip in every direction to be back here. And here's Rachel. Ooh, we can we can play multiple animations at once. <laughs> okay, this will save time. Literally the starting screen and we've got all this to do. Nothing but clothes in here. Some of it causes a reaction from you. Here's my flashlight underneath all my socks. Yeah. <laughs> The Illuminator Mark V Jr. It takes 2D batteries, you know. Now I just need my mask and my lunchbox. I've speculated before on what my first experience with the creepy and comfy feeling is. This has to be it. Because, I mean, look, it started off almost as, like, a toddler horror game. Him being so afraid, those shadows creeping over the walls. But then we get to wander around and see his room, you know, look how soft that carpet looks, and it just feels like... 
he, he's somebody I want to be because he seems like somebody who can handle this. And that, that was not me at this time. I couldn't sleep in my own room. I hated the dark. And I don't know, this was such a comfort game in so many ways. Because not only was it so comforting, but it made me feel like I was overcoming something by playing this, you know? Alright, well, if I remember rightly, we had to find your socks, right? Hey, one of my socks! Mom said I should pick these up. This is where I'll put all the socks I find. Ah, you see right here. Uh, this was actually the inspiration for Resident Evil's inventory management. Fun facts. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for those things as we go. <gasps> that poster has changed to Freddy the Fish. <laughs> this game is just determined to hit my nostalgia tickles in every possible direction, isn't it? I still remember the case of the haunted schoolhouse. all-metal pajama man lunchbox who threw this away I can keep darkness in here after I capture him now I just have to find my mask you know I just remembered that as it happened and I don't think I found it creepy at the time but I sure as heck do now Pajama Man. He's my hero. <laughs> I can see that. A real man is his own hero, and you embody that, don't you? Nothing there. Oopsie. Again, some really disturbing implications here. You should probably be more worried about that than whatever's in your closet. I can't go get Mom and Dad. I have to handle this by myself. Good man. Uh, Alright, so where else is there to look? Nothing good under there. Oh, we can hit each of your bedposts? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but no, seriously, I actually cannot find this mask anywhere. Oh! oh! Here's my pajama Sam mask. Gotta protect my secret identity. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness! That's some nonsense! You actually expected me to just, like, randomly click on the side of the rug? <laughs> but that's 90s adventure games for you. We just gotta move the mouse all over the screen and wait for it to light up. Alright, I'm ready for action! All right, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam! Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? Wow, this looks like where darkness lives, all right. I better go find him before Mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I remember being totally unquestioning of this. I was so young. Like, yeah, of course, this is what happens when you go into the closet at night. Gotta be prepared. Gotta have your mask and your cape and your flashlight. But these days, like, I just find this not only nostalgic, but just for what it is, I find it so adorable, you know? So the soundtrack was always coming from the hat. That's what we need to know. This uh, The soundtrack in this is actually diegetic. Now, I'm actually really surprised that this is running, and from what I understand, it's actually got a built-in emulator, so this was actually sort of spruced up and brought to Steam. <laughs> and of course, we gotta click everything. Just 
Just think of the effort that goes into something like this, you know? Like, just these little animations for literally every single thing in the environment. It's one of those things where I think the reason I stayed so interested in it as a kid was not just because I related to its theme so hard. Back in my day, they didn't even have video games. But because there was always something new to discover. Like, look at this. These artists had to come up with new animations for, like, every little piece of this. I guarantee that, like, the sets, the sets were designed, and then they had to come up with the animations. And so, in certain cases, such as the one we just saw, I bet they really had to reach for a solution. And you know what? That's what made these so entertaining. You just never knew what you were going to get. I feel like we should take that with us. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. <laughs> but look, even the sign back there reads Sam Street. I think the last time I played this game, I probably could not yet read. Okay, let's move on. idea my closet was this big on the inside. Oh, every closet is this big on the inside. I had a similar closet to his that had slats on the door, and there was a light inside, and, you know, I would always insist on sleeping with at least that light on, but it actually ended up freaking me out even more because then I could see the light pouring through the slats, and I'd always think I could see a shadow moving beyond it. I thought it was darkness. In reality, it was probably just the homeless guy living in the crawl space. Hey, a board! It's too far to reach! Okay, so we have our first puzzle. We're gonna need to find something long that we can grab that with. Mamma mia! <laughs> Look, even the foreground objects you have to check sometimes. This breaking news update, darkness has fallen and there's still no sign of dawn. Hey, we need you to make an animation for clicking these reeds on the side of the river. Oh yeah, no, it turns into the head of a news announcer who then gives a little announcement. How do you even? Like, either they were on something or they were just incredibly constrained. Absolute joy. Absolute joy in every single pixel. <laughs> even the background. Even the background does it. Look out! I guess not. I, um... I think we better confiscate these items. They could be dangerous. Hey, I need those. And you're traveling in disguise. Let's see what you really look like, hmm? My Pajama Sam mask. Pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right then, Pajama Sam. You can go, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now what do I do? Uh, well, given you can't use the force, I guess we're gonna have to click our way out of here. Oh, look. Over that way, towards the house, we could see a light flickering in the window. Oh, that is such nice detail. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, I found another sock. Another sock! I better pick it up like Mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a total of 10 pairs of socks. Ah, so 20 to find, 10 to pair. Hey, buddy, help me out. Yes, no, ah! Oh. You just can't count on the wildlife for anything. 
You know, I remember like some of the only pieces of media in my life at this time were this and The Wizard of Oz. So I really thought that talking trees causing a hindrance was like a prevalent force in this world. And we can't get the other one. All right, at a certain point, we are going to have to try doing this for ourselves. Whoa. You can borrow that if you like. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Don't we all wish we could encounter someone like this anytime we're going through something rough in a place where no one cares? Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? I can't complain. That's good. It's against the rules. Oh. Huh. So there's no complaining in Grouchland. I mean, Dark Land. I already forgot what they called it. That scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. Oh, that's not the only thing we're finding. Here's another sock. Another sock? I don't know why. I'm. I usually ignored these as a kid, but I'm weirdly obsessed with finding them right now. I think I did actually find them all once, and I was really ridiculously proud of myself. Uh, but let's invite ourselves in. I remember there's a puzzle we have to solve. Yep, this is Darkness's house, all right. God, it's literally like I'm sitting in front of the computer at my old house again. Like, I'm being transported right back there. It's so weird to view this from, like, a much later, more mature mindset and find it better than before to really appreciate what it was doing. And the thing is, they probably didn't intend for it to be that deep. I know that a lot of it is nostalgia and rose-tinted glasses, but, you know, given everything that's come after, and given what my career is now, it just seems so appropriate that this would be how it all got its start. And I don't know if it's coincidence, or if this was kind of a guide in... The media we consume as kids is so critical in shaping who we are, you know? Okay, but so far we haven't found any pairs, only individuals. Hey, rocks! I think Darkness maybe needs to work on his spelling. <laughs> Dennis. Literally just says Dennis on his mailbox. Well, let's commit a federal crime. There's no mail. Beat it. But the flag is up. These are pretty heavy. This basket has enough weight in it already. Oh wait, no, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's try and get in the basket. These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. But that's not working, so we need a counterweight. We need to put rocks in the basket so that we can get up there. I don't know where I got these ideas in my head, but I always kept thinking that if I did this enough, darkness would show up in the window and jump scare me. Whoops. I ain't paying for it. Pajama man would just fly up there, but I'm gonna have to figure out a different way. Such as those rocks. I think that's so funny that he clearly can't spell and just spells his name as Dennis. It reminds me of, well, around this time, I really struggled with the word refrigerator. These are pretty heavy. And then I heard somebody say the word fridge on TV, and I was so relieved. I was like, oh, thank God, there's an easier way. Ooh. Wow, physics. Huh. You're like a proto-co-commentator, huh? Because that's more or less what I was about to say. 
Oh, if we're already... If we're already in the thing... You'll come willingly. And then we can toss you up there. I guess I weigh more than one stone. And now you. And we made it. Look at him go. And now they're stranding us. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> you know, in spite of the upbeat soundtrack, I remember being really scared. <laughs> Wondering what I was going to see once I clicked on those stairs. I spent so much time procrastinating here. One, two, three. Shoe prints above the door. Uh, I was so creeped out by this, too. Because, look, it's got that music. They're smiling, but I just... Look at look at Sam over in the corner there. Look at the way he glances around. I felt like I was intruding on something I wasn't supposed to see. And uh, I think we'll see that that's exactly the case. Whoa! What happened? The fact that it all just goes silent like this... I don't know. I think that must have been one of my first experiences with being just a little mildly dis Is he gone yet? No. Shh. disturbed. And this portrait up here. <laughs> Can we really not click on it? Maybe I should turn on the music again. Well, I guess that's not going to work. You're really taking this in stride. Why aren't you moving anymore? It should be very clear that I'm on to your game. Come on, start talking. According to this clock, it's one o'clock. Hello! I saw you dancing. But a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom. Wow, you teed that up for them and they're not taking the chance. You're an expert interrogator, Sam. That's why we need superheroes like you in this line of work. How can you guys dance to that cheesy 70s disco anyways? Oh, don't worry. We would later say the same thing about the 90s. Oh, there's another that sock. like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. Oh, socks tend to get around. Why aren't you moving anymore? Hmm. Hello! Yeah, it seems like you're kind of recycling lines for a lot of these. Maybe if we bring out the disco ball. I saw you dancing! Uh, I guess not. Well, let's see what the railing has to say. Why did it have to be that color? But do you see what I mean? There's like some aspects of this game that are actually like legitimately a little spooky, especially to like a, a three to five year old. This is one of those dumbwaiter things going down. Oh. Wow, you looked like you really did not like us doing that for the brief moment you had consciousness. Yeah, no, see, that, that that right there, that's confidence, you know? They're willing to put on a show for a new audience member. It's all about overcoming that stage fright. I can't let you in, but you might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. Yes, you keep this up. Maybe if we can get everybody here going at once, maybe then uh, we can go the people in the next room into starting out of jealousy. Darkness is just, is just the worst. He drinks so much, you'd think he'd burst. Darkness, 
So when I click on you and you hesitate for a second, what is it that you're loading? Because this game is literally from like the mid 90s and you're on an SSD. My job is a daily grind. I've got mincing on my mind. Tempered shiny, guarantee, unequivocally, defect free. Sharp as my wits, I'm hard as steel. Chop things to bits for a tasty meal. So now I've got to wonder, is this like a Beauty and the Beast situation where like all of you were once human? And either way, what is your relationship with darkness? This is his house. And well, there's the whole not allowed to complain thing. I guess you're all his subjects and he is not a benevolent ruler. We've seen all that stuff. I don't even know what to make of that. I honestly didn't expect you to trigger something. How naive I was. Okay, but at a certain point, we're gonna have to stop with the procrastinating and face our fears. Oh god, these guys. The brain Tickler! The game where you get to show how smart you really are! Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing The, the Brain Tickler! Tickler. Let's meet our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. He'll be asked questions from four categories. Once he's correctly answered one question from each of the categories, he wins. And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are cheese, entomology, plants, and the land of darkness. Hmm. Well, if we select the land of darkness, maybe we can get some good lore from you. Or we could talk about cheese. Let's talk about cheese. Cheese. I'd like cheese, please. All right, here is your question. What is cheese made out of? Hmm. Sawdust, milk, wholesome goodness, or soybeans? Soybeans. Uh, and you'll read it out for the audience if you mouse over them. What That's probably how I played this. I remember hating these guys' guts and wishing that you could kill them. Like, just come back with a crowbar and bash them down. Well, wholesome goodness is true. You should probably answer milk. Milk. That's correct. Wow! That's one category down and three to go. You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. Okay, entomology. Entomology, let me try entomology. All right, here is your question. How many legs does a centipede have? Oh god, these are... How many legs does a centipede have? <laughs> these are worded so annoyingly. A tenth as many as a millipede? One hundred. That depends on the centipede. And way more than anybody I know. These are... These are all technically correct. Anyway. One hundred. That's correct! Centi is a prefix meaning hundred, although in reality, a centipede can have anywhere from 30 to more than 300 legs. Two down, two to go! All right, which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? 
Uh, well, we're clearly working our way down to the one that's not like the others, so give me plants. I'll take plants, please. All right, here is your question. What does the word dandelion mean? Honestly, don't what know. What does the word dandelion mean? I'm gonna say pretty weed, because all these other ones seem pretty too weed. obvious and or stupid. Pretty weed. Yes, I suppose it is a pretty weed, but the answer we were looking for is lion's tooth. Ah. But don't worry, there are plenty of questions left, so you can try again. That's right, so go ahead and pick a category. Okay, well I guess we're back to plants. I'll take plants, please. All right, here is your question. This plant has a soft, white, fluffy substance used in making fabrics. Okay, well, that's got to be cotton. Cotton plant. Yes, you are correct. You're Jeez. really on a roll now. Are you ready for your final category? Um, uh, uh. Well, all that's left is questions about the land itself, and I am a foreigner here only recently having arrived. Uh, will my memory be jogged? Who knows? Now. Maybe we'll have to come back later. I'll take the land of darkness. All right. Here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? And we actually can't what answer this right now. On the water meter okay. Uh, in the so it's just going to be. Darkness's house. It's just going to be. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, you can always go have a look, right? That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. No, I think I'm done with your games for now. Can we take a break and I'll come back later? Of course we can. Because there's always time for the Brain Tickler. We'll be back after a few short messages. What kind of advertisers do you guys have? Also, I hope that wasn't you resetting my progress. Darkness must be right behind this door. Oh, uh, <laughs> and listen, that soundtrack taking that turn, the skull on the wall, and that grinning portrait and shadow below. I always got such an ominous feeling just standing behind here. Like, it, it sort of went away once I finally beat this game, but for a long time, I almost didn't want to. I spent, you know, a kid will spend so much time just walking around in an environment. They'll like a game without even, like, playing it, really. But already we're moving in. Ooh, this is a distant prequel to DCS, I see. And we could use that kind of help. <laughs> My god, that's creepy. It's like, you know how in horror movies, like, children characters will always be somehow, like, the only one not afraid of the monster? Skull, what say you? You just spontaneously grew a metal exoskeleton and then shed it. Whatever that creature is, it's not dead. Well, I think we've seen about all we're gonna see here for now. Unless we try and enter like the fool we are. Which we are the fool we are. I can't go in there until I get all my stuff back. Right. Oh. But then you've come this far. What is it you're really worried about? See, look, this is exactly what I mean. You always hop right back into what you were doing. You can take anything in stride. 
We. <laughs> okay, I think we'd better get out of here and start looking around. Boat dock right there. So what do you say we check it out? It says boat dock. Yeah, and I want to go that way. Thank you. God, I would recognize you anywhere. Like, this character, really so many things about this, but this character is one of those things that's just, like, burned into my memory. Another sock. Another sock! Uh, you don't correspond to any of the others I found. You know, it's it's the living books games that are so famous for doing stuff like this. These clickable environments, but it was really like every children's game of the 90s. And it's just so addicting. Like, this is why I was only able to like beat it later on in the time that I was playing it. But I played so much before that. And it's really weird how my timeline of events on this is so jumbled. Like, I can remember always never knowing how it ended, and yet I still also had that encyclopedic knowledge of how to beat it and how it ended. So I said. It's just like how I feel about Star Wars, you know? I feel like I must have watched it for the first time, but I feel like I always knew it, even as a toddler. Hi! Hello! My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Well, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Well, Otto, we're gonna need your help to cross this part of the river. If you'd be willing. Uh... The abruptness of that was the weirdest part. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no! I can't go in the water, I'd sink. I made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom. <laughs> so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. Ah, uh, I remember now. We've got to go get that other plank so that we can show you that wood floats. Or we could just toss the in. That's what we would do if we were really committed to the cause. But unfortunately, this is an adventure game and we've got to play by its rules. Also, I don't think Sam has that in him. I think he's too much of a paragon. So that really just leads the mines. Unless we go back. <laughs> There's so many clickables over here as well. So many things I missed before. Hi, how you doing? Okay, I guess. Except that silly boat by the river thinks wood sinks in water and won't take me for a ride. Maybe you could show him that wood doesn't sink in water. Ah, so if we're stuck, we can talk to you for advice. I remember thinking I wanted to live in this right here, the one that's just sitting on a branch with the lights on. Nobody would bother me there. Unless, of course, the bottom just opens up one day. You're out of your tree. <laughs> okay, didn't remember that one, but now I can't stop seeing Lefty as an eyeless face. Man, that's a sassy branch. Uh, but I think we're gonna have to go into the mines. God, I remember being so afraid to come over here. You. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? Look, well, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop-de-loop. -loop. 
put on our head. But then I got rushed. Rushed? Yeah, rushed. See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. So we're going to need to find something to get you moving again. Which I remember quite fondly to be an oil can. Uh, but we'll talk more about that as we get there. Okay, that didn't end where I thought it was ending, but I'm kind of grateful. Oh wow, and between all of you, we've got a full set of condiments. And I guess there's no going back either. Alright, well then, in that case, we've got our work cut out for us. We need to find some items that can help us get that piece of wood. Oh, yo, no, you, 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 can, can you get that for me? Oh, I guess not. I mean, I'd react that way, too, if I was spontaneously given life. Alright, let's see. Okay, you'll just automatically do that from now on. That's very, very useful. I think some of my Pajama Sam stuff might be on the other side of the river, and I can't swim that far. But I can't float. I'm made of wood. Exactly. Wood floats in water. Yeah, right. Next you'll be telling me that birds can fly. Oh, brother. I wouldn't go in there on foot if I was you. Hot lava and so forth. Much too dangerous on foot. You'll need a mine cart. You mean like you? No, you're gonna need a working mine cart. My wheels is rusted, so I can't move. <sighs> the clock now says 1.15. According to this clock, it's 1.15. So time is actually passing while we're here. Well, all right, there's a little mail, but it's all for darkness, and it's all bills. What sort of utilities does someone who lives in a tree in my closet pay? Okay, but we'll get different things if we keep badgering you? You don't want what's in here, trust me. I mean, I don't want bills, but do we trust that it's bills? Oh, all right, here you go. Darkness may already have won a fabulous million-dollar prize. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow, all that for that. Our persistence did not pay off this time. Oh, I, I hadn't realized we could bring up the inventory this way. Okay. All right, well, if we use you on you then... There we go, all right. Yeah, that's, that stuck me for a while because I didn't know you could do that. Or rather, I remember that you could. I couldn't remember how. Uh-oh. I hope that nice tree's not too mad that I lost a rope. At least I got this great piece of wood. Well, she was responsible for trapping me in the first place, so now we're even. Uh, in the meantime, we've got to pay a visit so we can make that guy feel stupid. Here we go, we're gonna prove to you that you're a witch. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See, it floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Go on, give it a try. I guess. Well, so far, so good. Well, here goes nothing. I'm doing it! I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! What if we actually made a huge mistake in assuming his materials and he just started sinking to the depths, screaming our name, cursing us as water filled his lungs as the screams turned to gurgles? 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not coming into this with the right mindset anymore. Oh. Let's go sailing. Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing. Okay. By now I bet his Reddit account has tons of karma. Ooh, we can actually- Oh, you act as a hub. That's really cool. Okay, uh, let's try going across for now since it's the most obvious thing. Huh. So this is where fast food comes from. And there's another sock. Another sock. This one is sort of dirty. I get the feeling it used to be plain white. Neat, an old hollow log. Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Rats, there's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. Uh, just careful you don't fall in the water there. I feel so good. Uh. So that way to the well and that way to the center of the earth. Is the fact that you denote both things some sort of indication that they're connected? Once more, how do you even think of some of the things you've decided to show us? What is happening back there? Like, is this like the prototype for Sausage Party? Bye, Otto. Maybe we shouldn't have come to this side of the river. It is a silly place. That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. It smells like one too. Uh, so the uh, Pajama Sam family lore continues. You don't count, right? No, you're your own thing. I really enjoy the soundtrack, you know that? <laughs> and like, it, it all goes into what I mean by creepy and comfy. It's the soundtrack, it's the cuteness of the characters, it's the backgrounds, but still got that dark feel to it. It's the kind of thing that would be a little intimidating to a kid while not being off-putting. I think that's part of why children's horror is so creepy and comfy a lot of the time. Because it's got to be appealing to a vulnerable audience while still giving them what they want in pushing their boundaries. And so it kind of has to strike that perfect balance of being safe but still exciting. Great, more of you guys. You know, guy on the right, I remembered, actually all of you, I remember your faces, but I couldn't remember what you were from, so thank you for solving that decades old mystery. Hi, my name's Sam. How nice. Okay, screw you then. Do you guys know Otto the boat? Oh, I should say not. Yeah, well you should, he's made from your ancestor's flesh. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in my lunchbox. Yes, well, why don't you run along and play then? We have important tree business to discuss. I reaffirm my stance. Screw you then. But also, I love his devious little grin as he announced his intentions. Hold! Just where do you think you are going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary to- Oh no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. Phew, that's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. Nobody's gonna expand on that? We're not gonna address the elephant in the room? 
<laughs> with that statement. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to find some other way. If I try to go through one more time, will you give me something more? I'll be your best friend if you let me go past. Huh, trees only. All right, well, you seem pretty firm in your stance, but luckily I have an ally. An ally descended directly from you. Come on, Otto. Let's go see what's down this way. Ooh, ah, this is just lighting up all the like fingerprint excitement parts of my brain. Everything about these things is so tactile, you know? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water in passages deep down where the rocks are hot gets heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure, and all of a sudden, the hot water turns into steam, and POW! It erupts out, along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows down into the deep passages, and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland from their word geosa, meaning Gosh, geysers are usually very <laughs> unpredictable about when they erupt. The most famous exception is a geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, which erupts every 64 minutes, uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often than that. Um, thanks a lot, Otto. You gotta love the self-awareness of 90s children's entertainment. I mean, you saw it all over in games, in especially Nickelodeon. Oh, we can mess around with each of you. But is there anything to actually be gained from doing this? Well, you're quite a big one. What did you say that thing was called? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam oh, no. every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. No. Okay. Good. We can just we can just skip it. Thank you. Oh, I've got some steam rising up from beneath these rocks. We've got weaponized air defenses. Nature is fascinating. All right. Let's get out of here and try the other direction then. Even the bridges are alive. Let me guess, you're not gonna let us through, are you? No, you will. Oh, we can go way farther down. And there's an oil can! Thank it's an you. oil can. And there's some oil in it. Oh my god. This is where they grow hot dogs. This is where they grow hot dogs. It's prophetic of Dan's discovery. Oh, but there's what a sock. You know, another sock. Uh, and you are a duplicate. That's our first pair completed. Oh, I definitely needed that. Nice reference, but God, way to present that in the most horrifying way possible. Although, I suppose in that way, faithful to the source material. Hey, that's my flashlight! My flashlight's in there! Alright, so we're gonna have to do some urbex then, are we? I can't open this door, there's no knob on it! So I'll have to find a doorknob. God, everything's alive in this world. Everything was always alive in these games, which we didn't appreciate for all of its horrifying ramifications. Oh, I didn't think you'd let me do it.
There's the lunchbox, and there's the minecart. Ah, oh, that is so cool how it actually winds through this entire thing, giving the whole space a sense of connectivity. I mean, it's really something to appreciate in a game like this. It's just so cool to see something where they really didn't have to try so hard, and they did. These might have eventually become the caves beneath Resident Evil Village. Hey, there's my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Were we looking for that? Yeah, I needed to put darkness in when I capture him. It's my portable bad guy containment unit, just like pajama man. Oh, I see. Rats, I can't reach it. So we'll have to find something to fish it out with then. Alright, well we know where most of what we're looking for can be found. Now it's just a matter of getting the items to do it, but we have plenty of open spaces. In fact, we should even be able to use the cart itself now. There we go. We're getting close. Look at that perspective. How far back the camera is pulled, how small we are in this chamber. Ah, we're beneath the geyser! Ah, that acts as an exit! Ah, that is awesome. I just remember being so stoked on slowly learning games back in the day, especially of this type. You know, I was a very weird kid back in the day when it came to game choices. I had stuff like this and Freddy the Fish and the Living Books games. I also had like edutainment stuff like that 3D dinosaur game and Crayola 3D Castle Creator. But I also, you know, one of my earliest things was Rainbow Six, the original. I wasn't any good at it. I wasn't any good at it, but I sure played the first two levels over and over. They like me. They really like me. I never before appreciated what a baffling game this is. All right, let's go. Um, how about not right away, okay? Okay, but eventually, eventually we're gonna have to. Okay. Well, we've always got to think in terms of what changed compared to before, and right now what's changed is we have the means to free our friend of his shackles, while Darkness was content to just leave him here after he no longer had any use. We are a bit more of a benevolent boss, I say boss because I just kind of assume that the realm itself will be one of the spoils of our conquest. Here, I think maybe this might help your wheels. Say, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! King of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid! Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam! Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. And I'm happy to have you, old timer. <laughs> oh, my. This is one of those things that, like I said before, is just tactile. I mean, the exact sounds and animation of putting that stuff on the rust, watching it fade away, the absolute satisfaction to my child brain is something that has clearly never left me. Well, tally-ho. Oh my. Another sock! Grab you, <laughs> thank you for slowing down while we did that. 
Ooh, but it looks like we're missing tracks here. If I lower, we don't still have the plank. We can go back. Oh, this didn't get us quite as far as I thought. Sir, you're wasting water in a place that desperately needs cooling. Oh, yeah, no, because it's the rail, so you can just go over that. You know, leave it to a kid's game to make me feel really stupid. Hey, King, what's this thing? Well, it's a water meter. It says 236. Huh? Well, we have our answer now. And nothing else to click on, so we can go. What is this? Oh god, I just... I noticed way too late that you're a whole screaming, glowing red fish protruding out of the wall. That's actually pretty horrifying imagery. But... But the monogram above the door can be mistaken for no one else's. Don't even bother, kid. It's a one-way door. So what you're saying is it's the point of no return. What are you going to do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is it? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh, yeah. We'll keep that in mind, then. <laughs> These aren't steam pipes. It's a whole pneumatic tube system. Oh, wait, no, hang on, wait, you really confused me with your... I had forgotten you just jumped up and spun around. Oh, no, there's a junction. Well, this claims that there's gold over here. I don't know what a kid my age has use of in terms of gold, but I obviously want it. What a weird thing. says gold. There must be gold through there. Uh, Kim, you want to weigh in? Well, obviously everything's coming up. I should do this. And look, we've just released the wisps, so we can't stay here. Ooh. I have to choose. Oh, wow. This greatly increases the complexity of all this. There's a bucket. Oh, it's like we're getting a rapid pace preview at the entire... No, come on. I'm clicking on it. It's right there. That was fun. Hey, I found a sock back there. So that's our sort of fast travel. But we've got to be quick. Okay, well, we can put you there, and that's one, two, three, four pairs. And only one that's still missing in its entirety, but I believe I saw it back there, so <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go back to some more excitement in our lives. Same way. There we go. Last one for our collection, at least for now. And now we'll try taking some of the routes less traveled. The ones we have to consciously choose. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we can choose things even here. Gold, we... All right. That's fun. Hey, look at that. Wow, this must be gold. Hey, I found a sock back there. <laughs> oh, I love your priorities. On the one hand, untold riches, but on the other, Mom will be upset. There we go. And now, I bet here is where we use the pickaxe. I warned you to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have the small piece, huh? Deal. Sure thing. 
I mean, kind of feels like maybe you should be compensated a little better after everything you've been through, but whatever. That's too high. We can't get back up there. We can't go back that way. We're going to have to take the other way out. I wonder where you get voice actors for a game like this. Like, some of the situations, I wonder if they really knew what they were saying. I, I once read an article from a voice actor who was sort of like addressing criticisms of how video game voice acting is often so bad. And they talked about how lines are often delivered, not even in the form of a script, but really rather as a rubric. Say this, say this, say this. So often when they deliver lines, they have no idea the context. In a game like this, it must be absurdly difficult. I got plenty of gold already. Eh, you can never have too much gold. And we're back. All right, now let's try and move on. And here we are. There's still plenty more to see, but we have got more to do. I could make it worth your while. Huh. As though we would have any use. I will be honest, I found it kind of fascinating that you had dialogue for that. That's not going to do me any good. May I please pass by? No, as I believe I mentioned. Out of the way! You let him go by. Well, that's different. Yes, he's a tree. This path is for trees only. I withdraw some of my criticisms from earlier. And raise a few new ones. Okay, we never did talk to Mr. Bridge. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of gold. That is an absurd amount to cross a bridge, sir. You better remain open forever. But it seems I have your tribute right here. <laughs> He turns gold. Can I get like a discount or something? Imagine what life must be like when you're stationary in a place like this. I understand now why Otto and King don't rebel against darkness. If you're lucky enough to be able to move, you count your lucky stars and keep your mouth shut. Here you go. This should be at least a pound. All right, you're clear. Go on across. And away we go. Sorry, Otto, you can't walk on land and I'm not carrying you. Hmm. A cheese-related minigame. Havarti! I'm fine, how are you? No, 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 I said Havarti! Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe! Tic-tac who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention! First, you need to choose which you're gonna be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course! Okay, I'll be the crackers. You're trying to get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. You go first. Okay, let's see how intelligent this AI is. I'll warn you, I'm quite a grandmaster at tic-tac-toe. Yes, now, I've got you, see? Uh, it's like raising my sword to your neck. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. Why not? No follow-up? Ah mm. mm. oh, yes, you two ponder your game of wits. In the meantime, it seems I'm clearly witless. And I have no reason to be here, so let's just continue on. 
That costs a pound of gold. There's got to be some reason why I can come it. here. If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. Well, there is a colony of professional gamblers on the other side of this bridge. It's a wonder you don't get taken advantage of more often. Oh, you're letting us do this. Okay. Oh. Phew, it's hot in there. I just realized something. With those things sticking out of the top, you look a lot like the one that ran past us on the road. You're the same color scheme and everything. Will it actually? Because now that we know that there are some timed things, try it. Try it. Still no frog in here. Ow. Okay, this is our solution. Oh my god. Maybe I vaguely hey. remembered this in some way. <laughs> this animation is very familiar. Good day, fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. Whew, it's hot in there. Uh, we may have infiltrated your tree society, but it seems your average evil meteor from out of the sky has crash landed here. Look, the pulley system on the sides of this makes it look like eyes in some greater bulbous organism. Oh, hey, no, that, uh, that little Ninja Turtle carrot is actually wearing our mask. Give me that. Is that my pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the... Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. The writers of this were clearly having a tremendous amount of fun. Like, it's no longer just, like, slipping in some absurd humor here and there. Another sock! Alright, pair you with you. And that means we only have to find one, two, three, four more. But before we move on and try and liberate the carrots... We should probably... What the heck are you supposed to be? Uh, we should probably go see about this... Well... Hey, Penny! I wish... I wish the grass were greener here! Why are you wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the wishing well here, you or me? Oh. So you're a cynical wishing well. Would that make you an O-well? My name's Sam. You can call me Fingelbert Brafelglop. Where'd you get a name like that? I didn't say it was my name. I just said you could call me that, if you want to. Oh, uh, thanks. All right, well, I'll take that as permission. You want to be sarcastic? I can be literal. I'm going to put on my pajama Sam mask, capture darkness with my flashlight, and keep him in my lunchbox. <laughs> that dismissive little glance toward us. That's hilarious. Where does that water go? Why, into the hole, of course. Alright, but that doesn't really help me. Uh, what if I try to feed you a carrot? I'm pretty sure that won't work. After the water goes down the hole, what happens to it? It makes a stream underneath us, and then the bucket brings it back up again. Uh, so I guess you couldn't imagine Sisyphus happy. Why do you pour the water down the hole if you're just gonna bring it up again? We have to pour the water down the hole to make the stream. Why do you have to make a stream? Silly! 
If we didn't make the stream, we wouldn't have a source of water. So the only reason you're making this stream is so you'll have water to make the stream? What are you trying to do? Put me out of a job? No, it just seems sort of silly. That's because you're not a trained professional like me. I see. Pierced to the heart by a child's question. Wouldn't you be even better off if you made two streams? Then you'd have twice as much water. Expansion, eh? That's an interesting idea. Have you thought about my two-stream idea yet? I'm still considering all the ramifications. It's very technical. Whoa! Good day, fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. All right, Carrot Top, let's storm the castle. Oh no, check this out. We've already got allies manning the gate. It's awesome. Let's just jump in, let them do their thing. And that's our inn. Kitchen in sight, proceeding to mission area. And let's have a look around. I can't let you in, but you might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. Well, we're not gonna let that happen, are we? the tide and turned it. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray! I finally have my mask. Two more things and I finish my task. Well, that was a lovely rock opera. That's a no-no. We avow it. No, we simply can't allow it. Try going through here. Oh, oh wow, it's a whole thing. Uh, this is actually a little bit tricky. Remote mining terminal. God, why do the graphics here look like something out of like Lethal Company? And you sneaky little devil hiding down there. There we go. Only three more. That there is a remote mining terminal. Try it out. It's fun. It's just like a video game. You're supposed to pick up the nuggets without crashing into anything, including yourself. Watch out for the moving rocks and hot lava. Oh, how have you lived without video games for so long? Okay, uh, oop. Okay, we can use arrow key inputs, although it is quite stiff. Oh, it's snake. by accident, uh, but right, we have a whole ton of lives. All right, well, never mind. Unless we that actually, was fun. Unless we actually get something for doing that. Oh, down this way, down this way, down this way. You know you want to call the void. Oh, it just brings us back here. Oh, we're, we're around the outside, but it doesn't really help us at all. Okay, I think we're just about done checking out these mines then. Although maybe the remaining maybe the remaining colors can help tell us what we still need. 
Welcome back to the Brain Tickler, ladies and gentlemen. As you'll recall from before the commercial break, our contestant Sam was about to select a category. Our categories today are the Land of Darkness. Yeah, yeah. I'd actually kind of forgotten about I'll this. Take the Land of Darkness. All right. Here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? I believe it was 236. 236. That's absolutely right. You've done your homework. You've correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. How many people do you even get down here? You're just grateful for the company, right? Congratulations, Sam. Gee, thanks. Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won. Blink, as the new grand champion, Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. Isn't that fantastic? You mean I could go through right now if I want to? That's right. Wow. Thank you for being here with us on The Brain Tickler. Until next time, this is Wink and Blink saying good night. Wink and Blink's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. Do you think Wink and Blink fight each other, like, really nastily when we're not here? Like, do you think they've been together for so long that they just can't stand each other's company and why they both relish the opportunity to talk to someone else? Oh well, it's not my problem. Oh my, things get very strange in here. Oh hey, can you stop infringing my copyright? Wow! Oh, these burning, melty candles on the walls. Oh, never mind, there's my cameo. <laughs> oh, it's incredible how these things shape our lives. Oh my! Legit jump scare. Okay, I guess they didn't want me speaking too highly of myself. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. The Cheetles? I wonder where those trees hid my pajama Sam gear. Not a day goes by, I don't ask myself that same question. Sorry. No admitting. Important gravity experiment. I'll let you get back to it then. I have a feeling it's in our best interest that you complete those. Seriously though, can we take you? We need you to get our flashlight back. Uh, okay, well we could go through some of these. Yikes! The doorknob came off! I didn't do it! I barely touched it! Well, you had that defense right up until you took it, but it's exactly what we need. New fear unlocked. And what happens if we move beyond? Oh, there's so much more. This isn't just the night sky. We didn't even get to see the silhouette, but they had pretty wild hair. Darkness is a fan of the new Nosferatu movie. Excellent. What did one clover say to the other clover? Take me to your weeder. What did one eye say to the other eye? There's something in between that smells. Oh, huh. I've been taking this so piece by piece, I didn't even notice that other sock up there. What do you know, another sock? Okay, place you. Oh, we could go through here. Before we do that, since that seems like an exit, why don't we talk to you? Can you actually reach out there? You can. Okay, gra Hello, gravitational Grand anomaly Champion. detected. Oh no, you're not gonna give us an adoring fan, are you? A 
visitor. <laughs> well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> yeah. No words. Why did that soundtrack from the gramophone sound like something you would hear, like, in a horror map on Gary's Mod, you know, when it's supposed to be all disjointed and unnerving? Well, well, well. Well. <laughs> Nice view from up here. You be careful now. <laughs> but we can't play you. I can't reach it. Nice view from up here. You be careful now. I couldn't even jump up to the chandelier from here. I think I need to get higher up. So that is what we're supposed to do. Aha! Nicer view from up here. Point and click platforming. Interesting. Be careful now. You, you might break something. Who cares? Hmm. Okay, we just keep clicking. And eventually you'll start to gain some momentum. And hopefully you'll be able to accomplish something. If we grab those oars, who knows what kind of sailing we could do. Well, I mean, technically it's not sailing because Otto's not a sailboat, but you get the idea. Ow, that looked painful. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. What about- Hey, hey check this out! I'd swing my arms if I had any arms. My arms rest away. I'm nodding my head, cause I have a head. Moving ahead today. <laughs> Interesting. How many of these are there? This is for me. It's not by me. I'd never write such travesty. This is Dark. Alright, out the escape hatch. This did not lead where I thought it would. For some reason, I kind of thought it was going to drop me into the river. My fault for trying to make sense of this. Book of Clues. If you are a clever fellow, try to push in only yellow. Well, that's about as on the nose as it gets. Whoa, that looks like a secret door. I don't see any way to open it. Really? You don't? There we go. Ooh, ooh. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. A magnet? I wonder what we use that for. All right, let's look around some more, though. By the way, it's not very much of a secret door if somebody walks in and looks at it and says, Whoa, that looks like a secret door. The little car saves the day, a small story. Once upon a time, the day went for a hike and got lost. And the night had to cover for him, so it was night all the time until a little car went out and found the day and brought him back safe and sound. The end. Pretty sure I've written a story like that before. All right, open up. Ooh. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. Yeah, you keep calling our attention to that, but what do we do about it? Well, here we are, burning. Have I mentioned that I really love this job? I'd say at least a hundred thousand times, yes. Are these my fan art depictions? Well... Here we are, burning. 
And you continue to have fun with that. I'm not really interested in helping you. <laughs> it's not a loop, it's a spiral. See, all this is connected. This is just the earliest game in the Remedyverse. Right, what's through this door? I still need to find my flashlight and my lunchbox. I you... wonder what this button does. Hey, look at that, would ya? Oh! We've got a shortcut to the mine! Howdy, Sam! Hi, King! And with it, a shortcut back to here. Okay, excellent. Well then, in that case, uh, since I have no idea what to do with that chandelier for now, I'm just gonna go to that shack. I can't open this door, there's no knob on it! We can fix that. This doorknob should fit the door. Once again, Pajama Sam saves the day with his mighty brain. And adhesive fingers, I guess. The door is stuck. I think the hinges are rusty. We have a solution for that. I've been waiting for the time we'd use this oil can again. It always removed stuff from our inventory when we couldn't use it anymore. These hinges look kind of rusty. I better oil them. That did the trick. In we go. My flashlight! Hmm. I also see some cheese down there, although retrieving it may be a bit precarious. Oh, please don't burn this all down right now. I can't reach it from here! Now I just have to get my signature edition all-metal Pajama Man lunchbox, and I'll be all set! And we know exactly where it is. It's just a matter of being able to get to it. That's horrifying. You know, in all these times where something reaches in from off-screen, just picture in your head what it is on the other end of that arm. It's not something child-friendly, is it? Oh my god, this thing is actually just terrorizing this little shack. I actually find it really creepy, the idea of something that haunts a very small location. This literature really flies off the shelf, huh? I'm sorry, I'll continue the game. Yep, there you go, and we just defeated a boss fight. We're making a lot of progress. Chief darkness, watch out! So I've just realized what we need to do. This is persistently facing this way, so if we go around and take the elevator up, then the magnet will already be on the other side and we can grab it. A lot of backtracking in this, but you know what? I guess the idea is that, hey, it'll keep the kids occupied because they're just gonna rocket through it. I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half of the question. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh, shh. It's the grand champion. I was right. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion. Oh, my God. They Hi. actually made that cannon. I am in disbelief. This game is actually a lot better than I remember it. But I guess that's the point. It's entertainment for the adults who'd be forced to watch kids play it. As soon as I right down there. And we can grab the hey, magnet. magnet. Thank you. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's really... F mm. Good thing we clicked on that. But I'm still missing a couple of socks. Okay, one more time, Lishbox. Hey, I've got an idea. What are you gonna do with that? Magnets attract metal, you know. Oh no, I don't think they do. 
I had to sprint and well, what do you know? I got my lunch box. All right. Watch out, darkness. Pajama Sam is ready to roll. I saw you back there. You know, I really appreciate your spirit. Watch out, darkness, my old friend. Well, let's go. Wow, this is like a secret mad scientist lab or something. And this looks like the other end of the dumbwaiter. Ooh, and that looks like a sock. sock. Uh, which means we should only be short the one. I float and I think and I think and I think about walking or driving a car or riding a bike and I think and I float because I'm just a brain in a jar. In other words, you did those things. This place is creepy in a number of ways. already up you're not there anymore oh, but we revealed something for a moment major magenta in the laundry room with the gold nugget and you moved when we did that dawn dark yellow in the utility closet with the broom stick Major Magenta in the laundry room with the lint trap. I feel like there's something more to you simply because you move. Uh, weather control. Mixing yellow, green, and red makes a rain cloud for your head. But what if we mix other stuff? I guess I need to follow the instructions closer. Okay, well, I was trying to do science. I guess you're punishing me for dreaming. Alright, yellow. Green. Red. And I'm punished for obedience, so... Yeah, I guess that's what I get. Disguise. Purple, red, and green to impersonate the queen. Off with his head! You know, I was gonna say, now that we're in the later stages of the game, I don't remember a lot of this stuff at all. But I did remember that animation. Certain things just have that tickle. Voice of power. Yep, I knew it. This is the remedy verse. He who wants the loudest burp will mix up yellow, green, and purple. That's actually fairly clever, I'll give you that. Excuse me. Some purple. Some focal never drink some strange substances, but then again some focal. Uh marshmallow. The recipe for a good marshmallow uses purple, red, and yellow. That's that's just a cookbook at that point. But then what is chemistry otherwise? Mm, that's a good marshmallow. And you've been hankering for food all night. Invisibility. If you wish to hide from view, mix up purple, green, and blue. And now we can do as we please. Mr. Burnt Umber in the fireplace with the number two pencil. You're like reciting clue results. Oops, I can see myself again. That invisibility potion doesn't last long. Go 
going down. Well, look, if we send you down. You better get going. Yep, and then we go back. Could we possibly? I have, I'm hatching an idea here. There you are. Now, we come down here. We make our invisibility potion. Well, there's actually still others. Several others. Oh, many others. Oh, God. I don't know if we have time for all this, unfortunately. All right, well, let's make ourselves rich, huh? Wow, I'm rich! <laughs> Internal revenue service. I'm gonna have to take some of that for damage. <laughs> you can keep this moldy piece of cheese. Ah, <laughs> oh, I really do relate to everything in this game more now than I did then. Okay, but let's go back to the invisibility potion. Wow, I'm invisible. We're invisible now. Let's must be one go, of those go, dumb go. Things that's like a little elevator for food. I bet I could ride this one right back up to the kitchen. Yep, stop wasting time. This must go back up to the kitchen. Oh. This is the light better get going. Yep, through there. Can we make it? Into there? This is working. How D. But we cannot interact. Woo! We can move in a little bit. Whoops, I'm visible. And it just does that. Wow, it is now 3 a.m. Like to see how you can manage things without me. I mean, shh. I don't think you guys are gonna make it. All right. Well, final soccer. No, we have everything we need to finally confront the darkness. This was a real triumphant moment for me as a kid, as well as every subsequent time. Okay, this is it. This is the big one. All right, I'm ready. Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam. I have come to vanquish you. Hello, darkness? The closet, he's in the closet. I love how it's actually a recreation of our own room, a mirror image. As a kid, that went completely over my head. This is news to me. All right, well, let's have a look around. Man, maybe this is, ooh, just a little bit deeper than I thought. But I guess we'll have to see where they're going with this. Another song. Oh, we got it. Oh, hey, wow, I didn't even see it in amongst all that. But that is a complete set. That's 20 socks. Mom's gonna be so proud of me. I told Mom I'd pick up my socks. And she'd be even more proud if she knew what I did to get them. Was that a Star Trek reference? That was actually clever. You know, Sam, with your level of confidence I see now, you're not wearing that mask to make yourself brave. You're wearing it so that there are no witnesses to what you're about to do to this guy trapped in the closet. No, not that one. No. Nah. Do we just keep doing nope. this? Like, do we really just keep doing that until Maybe it works? Maybe the right key is hidden somewhere else in this room. I should look around. Oh, you actually had dialogue to discourage me from actually trying it. Well, excuse me, game. Can we see what he has to say? Uh, uh. It 
It's locked. But no words from within. The one that remains. That is hilarious. Aha! This must be the key. Yes, it worked! Okay, that's that. Now I'm ready to go into Darkness's closet and capture him. Let's go. Watch out, Darkness. Here comes Pajama Sam. Darkness? It is I, Pajama Sam. I've come to vanquish you. Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Well, no. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. It's great. Oh, good. We, we just need some, some, some crackers and, and some tasty cheese. Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? What do you know? I defeated Darkness! Ooh, I didn't see that one. You win! You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> Good night, darkness. So there you have it. Man, that game was adorable, especially at the end there. Man, it just goes to show that when it comes to something like this, for as much as I loved it as a kid, I'm able to appreciate it so much more now, because you see what it's trying to say, you know? I mean, and it doesn't even have to be anything all that deep. It's just a cute little way of saying that there really is nothing to be afraid of, and it's just something that eventually you're going to get used to, not something that has to go away. And you know, I checked a guide towards the end there to try and figure out where that final sock could be, and I actually didn't see because I didn't want to read further ahead, and I didn't know there could be socks further ahead. But what I learned is that there's actually a million different ways this thing can change, different permutations and puzzles that can happen on a randomly generated run. So there is actually like one puzzle where, you know, had things gone a certain way, we would have to use the invisibility to interrupt the partying things. It's why there were so many aspects of this that seemingly didn't go anywhere. All of that stuff would have come into play had things played out differently. Which is actually, I don't know if that's impressive or not for the time. Some of you guys have told me that the same thing happens actually with I Spy Haunted Mansion. So maybe I'll give that another try sometime too. But I just love it when I go back and revisit a childhood game and find that it's not just rose-colored glasses, that it actually is as much fun as I remember. I never played any of the other Pajama Sam games. I mean, I didn't have a lot of games but what my parents bought me, and I didn't usually ask for them because I had no way of knowing other things existed. So, you know, I had a lot of humongous games, but it was mostly of like the Putt-Putt and Freddy the Fish variety. There's a bunch of these, and maybe I'll have to try some of them out later on. It's all on Steam. Featuring the voice of Pamela Seagal as Pajama Sam. That sounds kind of familiar. I wonder if she's done anything else I know. But it's just so weird to, like, put names to something like this, you know? Something that's so iconic. I mean, as soon as I heard his voice, 
so much came flooding back. And it's just, it's in the voice, it's in the environments and the music that it's just like wrapping yourself in a warm blanket when you play it. And I don't know how many of you will have had experience with this game. Those of you who clicked, I imagine a lot. Mmm, cheese. <laughs> I don't know how many of you will have played this back in the day and how many of you haven't, but, you know, for those of you who haven't, does it come across the same way to you? It just feels like I'm personally coming full circle, returning to a game after all these years that I used to help myself feel brave. As part of a career that I've established, doing things I never thought I'd be able to do, and, you know, maybe this game played a part in that. I really do wonder if I'd be here doing the same thing if it weren't for this butterfly effect and all that, you know? And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. 250,000 subscribers, 1,000 videos, yay!